March All Madness right. out of the frenzy. Look at these, my buddy Ryan McElroy from Donna Ready to go. Made us Team WAND jerseys. Amazing. 17 Amazing. and 24. Ready to hey, go. I say we make this thing official and put on the headband. Let's do it. Hey, our crew racked up 485 miles in the car tonight. That's crazy. That's like going from here to Cleveland, Ohio. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. Uh -huh. Started off no Newman. 134 miles to get to this one. Central A&M and Nokomis for the Al Tamont Sectional Championship. What a ball game. Connor Heaton going nuclear, as always. He had 10 points in the first quarter. Here comes Nokomis. Carter Sable just as good in the first quarter. Three of his nine from deep. Back comes Central A&M. There's like, are there like five Connor Heatons out there? <laughs> I think they cloned him to Griffin Andrix. Crafty I'm calling move. that into the IHSA. That's Inside. just not fair. Raiders stretch the lead to 10, but the killer Kimbrose. Here <laughs> they come. Alex Tassetti was on absolute fire tonight. Three-pointer. This was the story of the game. Nokomis stayed in it with the three-point shooting. I mean, they could not miss. Trevor Wright, three-pointer there, but oh my goodness. One of the best plays of the night you're going to see right here. Connor Heaton going to fight for this loose ball. I mean, the heart of a champion tracks it down and his quarterback skills. Oh, my goodness, what a pass to Bryson Bergner, who had a monster game as well. a and ends the game on an 8-0 run, 63-57. Raiders going back to Carbondale. Wow. Elsewhere in Class 1A, Cisna Park and uh, Triopia also victorious. So we'll have three local 1A teams playing on Tuesday for a trip to state. All right, let's head 54.3 miles north to Unity High School. GCMS and BCC winner advances to the UIS Super Sectional. Such an amazing game. A nail biter. Lane short, big finish inside. Falcons down one. Saints go on a big run, though. Luke Yoder burying the jumper, puts him up 10. GCMS storms back. Rylan Holt, nice pass to Caleb Blurch. 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 You bad handwriting. Here's what That's the end of the handwriting. game sounded like on 106.3 FM. Take a listen. Wow. Unbelievable passion. Falcon Nation. GCMS wins its 20th. I think 30th. 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 Wow. 58-53. Uh, unbelievable game. game. Spot in the Carbondale. Super on the line in Vandalia. Number seven to Topolis. Number eight, Fairfield. The Rep King Media game of the night. There's the mayor of Dunktopolis, Shoes, Dawson Smith! Oh. Wham! With two hands. Can we see it again? Who said Class 2A kids Look at that crowd. can't fly? Crowd just going nuts. Is it illegal to not be at the game if you live in Totopolis city limits? I, I'm telling you. Do they write you your ticket? I don't, they might. <laughs> Beakers, Wormerts, Myers, and Harkies just <laughs> flinging their popcorn everywhere. <laughs> Mitch Hardick and one. Shoes take down a Fairfield team that came in red hot. And the Shoes are sectional champs. 55-47 final score. Bavarian pretzels? All around at Gophers Grill. They're going nuts. Let's do it. Riverton sectional. <laughs> Pleasant Plains, another local team punching their ticket to Super. 61-41. Take it away, Ron Ingram. They've got a, a good coaching staff over there. They've got a good program over there. Uh, they've been doing good for years over there, and those guys, they know how to play basketball. They had a really tough schedule to, to, to get where they're at right now. Um, but, you know, same with our guys. We had a tough schedule, too. We played seven ranked basketball teams through the year, um, and, you know, and we've, we've gotten better since the first time we played everybody till now. So I think it's going to be a great basketball game. I mean, Ron Ingram, I mean, he couldn't have said it any better. Unbelievable. Getting us ready for this Rantoul Regional Championship, one of the best games of the year. I mean, these kids are going to be talking about this game when they're seven years old on the rocking chair going back and forth. Let's, let's check out the highlights. Former Big 12 rivals, Champaign, Central, and MacArthur battling it out for a spot in the Southeast sectional wild second half. Keon Jones trims Central's lead to seven. Scott and Scott in the house. Great call tonight. Here comes Leo Tully. Oh. That's Wham. a sophomore in high school. With the right hand. But I was trading Pokemon cards when I was a sophomore in <laughs> high school. Jones was unbelievable tonight. Can't spell Jones without the J. Three-pointer. Jones again. The backpack kid. That's what they call Single-handedly getting MacArthur back in this. Coach Bryson fired up. Jones, not again. Oh, wow. flamethrower. He's going to get a sponsorship from Jansport. MacArthur back in front. Let's get a crowd shot. Wait, so, so I see something out of the corner of my eye. Oh, my goodness. No. It's Terry. One of the best dunks of the we year. We get a birth certificate check on that. Crazy in the crowd. Um, Central hit two free throws with zero seconds left in the fourth quarter to send it to overtime, and they'd hang on 71-70. Heartbreaker for MacArthur. Big win for the Fighting Finkies. Now let's take a good pick up. 
Oh my goodness, amped up for this one right here. Taylorville's Jack Livingston stunned Raylo Nation at the buzzer. And Lincoln's out for payback. In the rubber match here in Clinton, the gym is packed to the gills. Cameron Whiteman and the Railers, guess what? Hotter than a strike at Logan Lane. Oh, nice. Student section goes absolutely berserk. It's 26-11 Railers in the late second, but don't count out Taylorville. A miracle surge at the end of the first half thanks to Nick Livingston and Jace Bergschneider. Get into the hoop right here. It's only a six-point game in the early third. The crowd loving it. But here are the top moments from an insane Railers surge. Hamlin, Jermaine Hamlin on the block. 28-20 with six left in the third quarter. And he pulls away. How about two more? Pounding it down low. And with .6 seconds left in the third, Dylan Singleton. Splash City. The gym goes bananas. Wow. Look at this right there. Unbelievable. And the cherry on top. Hamlin. They felt that one at the Lincoln National Weather Center. Goodness. 61-41. Railers are regional champions. Man, this, is, this is what we've been waiting for. This is what we wanted the whole time. We've been fighting hard. We played hard this whole game. And we got what we really wanted right here. It's very loud. Very loud gym. Kind of hard to hear our plays. This is really rare since we been playing this game. That's one of the best high school shooting teams that I have seen. And they spread our defense completely out. And uh, our guys done a nice job getting to the shooters and not allowing them to, to set up and uh, have good looks. Super cool stuff. CS8 regional final in Jerseyville, Southeast and SHE. Big thanks to our pals at 1450 for the Stockton like assist on this video. Here in the wild first, Lots a of sequence dunks. ends with Terry and Murdix hitting Michael Tyler for that dunk. Still in the first, Murdix, one of three first half threes. Unbelievable. 15 to three Southeast with two minutes left in the first. Isaiah Thompson though, hits Kyle Ingram for three and, and the Cyclones go on a run. How about this? Second quarter here. Nick Broker with the dish. Charlie Hamilton got that. He got fired up. But Southeast would run away with a Damon Davis forcing the turnover. Stephon Sims makes it a 13-point spread. And it's 71-58 final score. And look at this. Joining them in the Southeast section will be Urbana. They hit a three with like 2.5 seconds wow. left. So a great season for Effingham comes on in. That's a heartbreaker. Class 4A Centennial Regional Championship. Danville taking on Bloomington. Robert Man. Stroud getting the Vikings off to a great start. And then he gets the steal, gets it ahead to Devin Miles. So Danville looking good here in the uh, opening minutes. And then we got Scott Eisenhower. Great Bob guys. I know Doug Barnett was somewhere running around there, too. Shout out to Mr. Barnett. Sean Hout. Wow. Fill it up from deep. They're so sturdy. I mean, they got down against Centennial last round, and they came back. It's like nothing rattles Well, when guys. you got this kid on your team, Tevin Smith. Tevo Buckets. No surprise. They're confident. Vikings overcome a five-point fourth-quarter deficit to win at 66-64. Get this, their 30th win. That breaks a 69-year-old school record for wins. Unbelievable. And how how about this? Glenwood kept it super close against arguably the best team in the state of Illinois, Belleville West, falling by nine there. Luke Lanin, 14 points. EJ Liddell, reigning Gatorade play of the year, 23. Future, Unbelievable. Future Ohio State Buckeye. All right, 385 miles down, 100 to go. Up next, we're headed to Redbird Arena. Big game on Doug Collins' court. SHG making its girls basketball state debut after this short timeout. Did <laughs> 